here if we take a mass uh, that means binding energy binding energy now for example for oxygen 86 i am taking the now calculating the binding energy here in this oxygen 86 there are 8 electrons 8 protons and uh, 8 neutrons are present now the mass of mass of neutrons the mass of neutrons is equal to 8 into 1.00866 units now mass of protons the mass of protons is 8 into 8 protons are there 8 into 1.00727 units and uh, mass of the mass of electrons the mass of electrons is 8 into 0 0.00055 units here uh, here in this oxygen 8 6 there are 8 neutrons and 8 protons are present inside the nucleus then the mass of the nucleons the mass of the nucleons means we have to add these two mass then we will get a that means here we have to add these two then we will get 16.12 and uh, some value we will get and uh, if we take actual value then we will get 15.99 we will get the atomic mass of this oxygen 86 here the mass of the constituents the mass of the constituents the sum of the mass of the constituents elements is greater than the mass of the oxygen here if we subtract this we will get some defect that is 0 0.13 uh, value this value is called mass defect mass defect here this mass defect delta m is denoted with a delta m this mass defect we are getting how we are getting means here the sum of mass of constituents elements is greater than the mass of the original mass of the element then here we will getting the mass defect this is called a mass defect then the binding energy this delta m mass defect delta m is equal to z into m into p here m p means mass of the proton and z means the number of protons the number of protons plus a minus z a minus z means a is the mass number and z is the proton number then mass number minus proton number will get neutron number into mass of the neutron and uh, minus the mass of the virginal the virginal mass of the element then we will get the mass defect delta m value we will get for this uh, mass defect also we have some energy according to this mass energy relation for this uh, delta m mass defect also we have some energy that is e is equal to delta m c square this we have the for the mass defect also we have some energy this is the mass defect delta m is equal to z m p plus a minus z into m n minus m now for example if we draw the graph between if we draw the graph between binding energy per nucleon and a mass number if we draw the graph between here this is the mass of an element and uh, this is the binding energy per nucleon here binding energy already we know binding energy per nucleon means binding energy by number of nucleons will get the binding energy per nucleon if you take this binding energy per nucleon then here the energy is in the terms of mega electron volts and uh, mass that is we are taking here uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, uh, 50, uh, 
and next uh, 60 like that we are taking and uh, here the binding energy per nucleon we are taking that is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 like that we are taking. Now if we take this uh, graph we will get a graph like a that means the masses which have less than 10 have most of the binding energy and uh, the masses which have for example for this uh, for mass of the 56 mass of an element which is a uh, 56 a is equal to 56 it has a greatest uh, value it has a greatest value and uh, the value again decreasing for the mass of 246 for the mass of 246 the binding energy again decreasing here the mass of the 56 for the mass of the 56 element it has a greater binding energy per nucleon and uh, for the mass of this uh, 246 nuclei also have some mass of energy here for example the mass of 56 element has 8.7 mega electron volt this is the greatest binding energy per nucleon for a is equal to 246 also we have greatest binding energy per nucleon that is a 7 uh, mega electron volts nearly that means if we take a that means a mass 30 less than a less than 170 for this we have uh, there is a the there is binding energy per nucleon is a constancy there is no constancy because here the nuclear force the nuclear force acting here is not a constant and the influence of the nuclear force is less for these values the influence of energy the influence of the nuclear force is very less for the masses between 30 and 170 and the mass the binding energy per nucleon is greater for this uh, 56 element and a uh, 246 mass number now by this graph we can understand that here if the mass is a greater than 170 if you take uh, mass is greater than 170 then the nuclei combining that means uh, that nuclei is bombarded into some other smaller nuclei here a bigger nuclei is divided into smaller nuclei will give the energy that is called a fission reaction fission reaction okay and uh, if the mass is less than or equal to 10 for these elements we have that means the smaller nuclei are combining to form a heavier nuclei and also giving energy this type of reactions are called fusion reactions these are called uh, fusion reactions simply by this graph we can understand that if a is equal to 170 a is greater than 170 for the nucleus that means the bigger nuclei are divided into smaller nuclei to give energy this is called fission reactions and uh, if a is less than or equal to 10 will form that means smaller nuclei to combine to give some energy and uh, these reactions are called fusion reactions and uh, if a is that means mass number is between 30 and 170 that there, there is no new constant nuclear force that means the nuclear force influence is less this is the binding energy per nucleon and uh, versus mass